So I'm now looking again um, at uh, a biology lab report and I would again, uh, as always, I would like to thank the student for giving me the permission to mark uh, his lab report. Um, and uh, I'll be using uh, red uh, and uh, green uh, pen uh, to, yeah, to give some feedback. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm not going to read this in detail, but I'm going to quickly uh, go through the uh, lab report uh, to estimate uh, the points, okay? So, um, and what I've done is the following, I put down here the markings, uh, uh, scale it's out of 24 points and uh, specifically I'll be looking at the exploration analysis and evaluation here and uh, I'm going to quickly estimate uh, whether these parts here are good medium or bad okay so I put uh, the, the, the point range here so if the uh, if it's a good one I'll give uh, between five and six points and if it's bad only one to two points zero points if it's completely missing or if it's so bad that it doesn't deserve any points so and the first thing that I do is the following and this is gonna shock you now okay is I'm gonna count the page pages okay I've got a title page and I have uh, content pages one two three four five six uh, a couple of lines here six um, a bibliography here and an appendix with a detailed uh, method. Okay, so it's actually six pages. Um, the maximum number of pages uh, that the IB um, recommends or uh, allows um, is, is 12 pages approximately. He only has half of that. So what I'm gonna do, and this is gonna be a shocker right now, this cannot be a good one, okay? Um, so that is uh, the thing because I don't know, um, because it's like this, the students that have actually used all 12 pages um, sometimes did not, uh, and they wrote very well, uh, sometimes did not even get uh, the, the top score, okay? So I'm, I've uh, reduced it now down to medium and bad, okay? So now let's, uh, I'll go back to this uh, later and I'll quickly have a look at the exploration. Now the exploration is the method. He used um, all of my, um, headings here okay so that is that's fine so he basically this is what I already told the students I'm gonna mark the screen to actually show that this is fine he's got all of the sections here um, yeah so this is the exploration so it's the, basically the topic the background information um, yeah he actually links the background information with uh, external references and it is relevant actually even overview of the method. I told the students that they always have to give an overview because otherwise I don't know what it's going to be about. He has a detailed materials here. Look at this. I like this. This is also control of variables. Okay, so that is okay. The control of the controlled variable, control of the independent variables, only a little bit, uh, and the dependent variable, actually a pretty important one here. It's only five lines long. Now, it is like this. Um, well, it's supposed to be 12 pages long. Divided by three parts means four pages each, okay? So that's basically my rough uh, um, estimate. Four pages each. He wrote for the method part, well, let us the intro part here, two pages, okay? And that's it. So what I say, and he, but that what he wrote seems to be generally okay. Um, so what I will do is the following. I will give him three to four points for the exploration, okay? Um, so, next uh, section is analysis. So this is uh, the raw data that he collected. Um, yeah, he has a title here that is fine. I have no idea what the C is supposed to be. He wants to say control, but actually it's supposed to be zero grams of garlic powder. I do not know why he uses C. Um, over here, the maximum hours is eight hours. Um, I do not know why he says plus eight. I don't know why he says final. I do not know why he puts an empty line here. You should simply put eight here and then simply add, uh, yeah, make eight. Yeah? So um, with a bit of patience, it is visible to ensure that there was no correct PH. This sounds like an evaluation a little bit, but I actually wanted to see a uh, a description of the data table. Um, okay, measurement uncertainty. Okay, he tries to address the measurement uncertainty, which is okay, but I want to actually see uh, not only from the measurement, but actually also from the, the collected data if there's a variation. So then we have a graph, and the graph. I have absolutely no idea what it's supposed to be. Look at this. Uh, yeah, it is uh, here. The colors. Uh, they're all overlapping. Um, there are a pH, he just added here at the edge. Uh, then what is this final? Eight hours later, final? Why, why final? Why not just eight hours? I don't understand. Massively confusing. Garlic powder? What do you mean garlic powder? What, 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 what? Uh, what about rate of growth of kefir uh, or whatever? I don't even know what this means. Okay, so, eh, no, I don't like it. Um, yeah, there's some stuff here, but it, it's, it is confusing and not even, I don't know. Yeah. 
Why, why did he all include all the small numbers that you cannot read anyway? This is basically an, a description of what it shows, okay? Um, yeah, this is actually good that he actually here describes uh, the, the graph of the curve. That is fine, so I'm giving him, uh, yeah. This is, so, he could write more, and this one is a, is a weird thing, okay? So, um, yeah, tarmac powder. Uh, another thing. So look, the first thing that I see is is this stuff here. So there seems to be some kind of a, a deviation here. Does he talk about this? And what? How many? How many grams is this even? It's, it's blue, right? I, I cannot even read the color. It's zero point three grams. Okay. Does he actually say somewhere why there is this deviation, or how it is different or similar to the garlic one? I don't understand. Okay, so um, I don't know. Uh, there is more stuff necessary here. He's almost not analyzing it. This here is a description of what he sees. Okay, this here as well. But there is no analysis. Why is it going down? Why is it going up again? Why is it going down? Why is it going up? Why is it different than this one? Why uh, are, the, are, the, are the variations that you see here are statistically significant? Here everything is much closer together. Why could this be? Okay, so there is actually, he's just presenting his data. That's what most students are actually doing. Um, they completely forget about the analysis. So I give him one to two points here. Okay, so now what about the evaluation? So this is basically where he tries to answer the research question. And don't forget, I, I expect around uh, uh, four pages for this, for the analysis, okay? Um, and for the evaluation, let's go to the evaluation. This is a little chaos here, okay? Evaluation starts here, conclusion and evaluation. So I see that this has one and a half pages, okay? What do I need? I need, uh, I don't know, three pages, four pages, right? So a conclusion. He mentions the data. He does seem to mention data here, okay? So his conclusion does seem to make reference uh, to the data. Do you actually notice that I'm not re even reading this in detail? Just flying over it. Strength of the experiment is certainly not evaluated. This is simply uh, listed, okay? So there is some stuff missing here. Um, weaknesses of the um, experiment, he's listing it, but it does not, he, uh, it does not really seem to evaluate it and how this is... is, is uh, impacts the measurement data, okay? This, we're adding in powder form, no growth. Why is this a problem? This along with the fact that the milk was supposed to ferment, most likely the reason why the experiment provides such inconclus inconclusive results? What do you mean? It went down here and then went up here again. Well, what's so inconclusive? I mean, I don't understand. Yeah, so uh, talk about this. He's, he's yeah, not, not, not to talk to the stuff missing here. Improvements, um, yeah, making sure that the caviar is to be used already active and not firm. And, okay, there are some improvements over here, uh, but the firm, I don't know, but what are so some concrete experimental improvements? Uh, then the likelihood, yeah, but this is not an improvement. He's just mentioning some stuff here. Increasing the number of trials, how many trials? Why do you need more trials? I mean, come on, you already have enough trials here. I don't get it. What, what more do you expect? So the, the student essentially has been inventing stuff that is not always relevant, okay? So, eh, yeah, you see, I could have saved this time um, reading it because there's not enough there anyway. So I would say much more needed here for the evaluation. So I don't know, I'm, I'm, it's not totally bad, honestly, really not. Uh, I would probably give uh, give it not on the one point, but probably more on the two points here. Analysis, uh, there, there is really much more needed here as well. So let's say the following for the exploration, let's say, let's be a little bit conservative. Let's say three points here, plus let's say for uh, analysis, two points here. Let's say for the evaluation, two points here. So the personal engagement, the, the topic is the student's topic. He does mention the personal significance here. Um, so let's give him two points for the personal engagement. I'm just gonna copy this over, okay? So three, two, two. Communication, is it structured properly? I don't know. I mean, honestly, this is not this is not good stuff here, okay? Because it's overlapping. Um, it's unclear the headings. What the C is supposed to mean? I thought it's degrees uh, cent uh, centigrade, but actually he wants to probably say control. I do not know why this is. Yeah, I don't know. Communication. Let's say let's just say two points. Two plus three is five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven points out of twenty-four. Okay, um, that's basically how I mark. Um, yeah, biology lab reports. This is, that's it. Um, this is, uh, as a first draft, not that bad, but essentially could require 
I mean, it depends how many points the student wants, but there is a room for improvement. And if, uh, especially for the analysis part, if you want to get high points here, you got to do some more advanced statistics like this chi-square test or t-test or some statistical stuff, okay? Or some real, um, yeah, uh, I don't know, standard deviation calculations and, and, and things like this. You got to do more, more stuff here, okay? And by the way, in the exploration, he also did not mention how the data was actually going to be processed. Okay, so what calculations are you going to actually perform on the data? This was, I think, not mentioned anywhere. Okay, so that's it. Wish you a nice day. All the best. Bye-bye.